Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Dear aspirants, in this particular video, we are going to have a discussion on onium fragmentations and ortho effects. In the last video, we had a discussion on McLefferty fragmentation. McLefferty fragmentations means what? Transfer of a hydrogen radical from gamma position to the unsaturation followed by C alpha beta homolysis. Let's see the onium fragmentations. This is observed in what? Ammonium and oxonium ions. In ammonium and oxonium ions, transfer of hydrogen radical takes place from beta position to the heteroatom followed by alpha homolysis. So what we are observing here, we need to have either ammonium ion or oxonium ion. So see this one. In this way, we need to have ammonium ions or oxonium ions. If this kind of moiety is present, we can observe onium fragmentations. Okay. So in such type of cases, what happens? We need to transfer the hydrogen radical from the beta position. From the beta position, we need to transfer the hydrogen radical to the heteroatom followed by alpha homolysis. Let's see the example. It is a molecule, it is an amine or not? The amine in which nitrogen containing lone pair electrons are not. So lone pair from the lone pair electrons we are generating the molecular ion. So we have removed one electron then this one is the what? Molecular ion. This molecular ion is initially subjected to see this one. This is alpha bond and this is beta bond. Beta one is subjected to homolytic cleavage. Thereby what is happening here we are having a radical or not and CH3 radical. The CH3 radical will be removed and this carbon radical and this nitrogen radical can form a what? Pi bond. See this one? Pi bond. Now see, nitrogen is getting the positive charge or not? That's why this ion is commonly called as what? Ammonium ion. So this ammonium ion is going to be involved in the onium fragmentation. Why? Because see this one? With respect to nitrogen, we have alpha carbon and beta carbon. Beta position is having what? Hydrogen or not? That's why transfer of hydrogen radical from beta position to heteroatom. The hydrogen atom is uh, transferred in the form of hydrogen radical from this beta position to this hetero, this nitrogen heteroatom. Thereby what is happening? This alpha bond is subjected to cleavage. So we will come up with what? Radicals or not? So hydrogen radical and nitrogen radical can form a NH bond or not. See this one. Double bond, NH bond is formed and at alpha radical, at beta radical. These two radicals can form a what? Pi bond or not? So this is what? Onium fragmentation. This can also be observed in oxonium ions. So oxygen should have positive charge. See the next example. This is the ether. In the ether, oxygen having lone pair of electrons, we have removed one electron to form the molecular ion. Now this one is subjected to beta homolytic cleavage. So CH3 radical will be removed. This CH2 will get radical or not? So this radical and this radical both can form a pi bond. See this one? CH2 double bond O positive charge. CH2 CH2 R. Now see this one? Oxygen is getting the positive ion or Positive charge or not? That's why this is what? Oxonium ion. Oxonium ion containing beta hydrogen or not? So this beta hydrogen is transferred from the beta position to oxygen by the homolytic cleavage followed by alpha bond homolytic cleavage. Therefore, what is happening? We are generating radicals or not? So hydrogen radical and oxygen radical can form CH2 double bond OH. This ion will appear in the mass spectra then beta radical and alpha radical can form a pi bond. Neutral space. So this is all about what you were onium fragmentations. Here we have one of the important topic that is commonly called as ortho effects. The ortho effect is generally observed in disubstituted benzene. See the definition. 1 comma 4 elimination of ortho disubstituted benzene is commonly called as ortho effect. See this one. We have a molecule. In the molecule, we are having different groups. 
दीज ग्रुप आर वॉट आर्थो टू ईच अदर ओके ना इफ द ग्रुप आर आर्थो टू ईच अदर देन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द ग्रुप विल बी क्लोज आर नॉट ऑल द ग्रुप आर इन क्लोज प्रॉक्सिमिटी दैट्स वाई वी आर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्विंग दिस फिनामिना कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज आर्थो एफेक्ट सो इनिशियली वॉट शुड वी डू एट दिस बी ग्रुप वी नीड टू क्रिएट ए मॉलिक्यूलर अयन देन दिस बॉन्ड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू हेटेरोलाइटिक क्लीवेज द ए बी बॉन्ड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू हेटेरोलाइटिक क्लीवेज सी डी बॉन्ड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू होमोलाइटिक क्लीवेज एंड दिस पाई बॉन्ड इज ऑल्सो सब्जेक्टेड टू होमोलाइटिक क्लीवेज देर बाई वॉट इज हैपनिंग दीज बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूव टूवर्ड्स बी मीन्स वी आर गिविंग माइनस चार्ज टू द बी आर नॉट already positive charge is there so b minus and b positive that can be neutralized or not again we are having b radical so b is removed in the form of b radical so this is the heterolytic cleavage that's why a will get positive charge or not so positive charge this is homolytic cleavage means two radicals cd is homolytic cleavage means we are getting d radical b radical and d radical can form b d bond so this can also be represented in this way This peak, this peak will observed in the mass spectrum so see the examples these type of moieties are involving in the ortho effect so ortho effect is going to give different ions in the mass spectra so alcohol derivatives alcohol and amine alcohol and alkyl group acid alcohol ester alcohol ester alkyl group nh2 no2 in such type of molecules we are observing the ortho effect phenomena so let's see the examples suppose if you take ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol we need to have 1 2 3 4 four groups are not see this one this is one group this is one group two groups this is considered as one group this will be considered as one group this is b this is a this is c and this one is d at b what should we do heterolytic cleavage molecular ion is formed at b see this one molecular ion formed at b so heterolytic cleavage homolytic cleavage and homolytic cleavage so h radical and oh radical removed in the form of h2o then we are getting o radical here so see this one o radical 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 and positive these two can form a pi bond see this one pi bond and these two can form a pi bond this can also be represented like this or like this okay na in case of ortho methyl benzyl alcohol the ch2 will be considered as c this one will be considered as d this is b and this one is a again elimination of h2o takes place thereby you will come up with the final ion this peak will be appeared in the mass spectrum similarly in case of ortho hydroxy benzoic acid we need to form the molecular ion at this position this will become b a c and d h2o will be removed and this ion will be absorbed in case of the nitro compounds we need to observe a special case see this one this is the nitro compound in the nitro compound what we are doing we are creating the molecular ion by removing one electron from the negative charge negative charge means two electrons are not there by what happens you will come up with o radical this will considered as b a c and d see this one h radical is there we are giving another radical so oxygen is having two radicals are not one radical is combining with h radical thereby elimination of o radical takes place then we are coming up with this type of ion now homolytic cleavage takes place so c radical c radical c radical o radical producing the pi bond and this will become this one will become the pi bond see this one n radical and c radical can form a pi bond so this is about the what ortho effects so these are the two topics which are very very important onium fragmentations and ortho effects